So, welcome, welcome to another edition of Monday Musings. Welcome, everybody. Hello, 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 and welcome. <laughs> I was a couple of minutes late getting on because somebody let me know there's yet another fake account on Instagram. Oh, my God, will it ever end? So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, know there's another fake account. The thing is, they block me from seeing it. I don't know how they're doing that bullshit. I do call it bullshit. Um, so, gotta get, let's clear that energy. Whew, we don't want any more of those. And I'm also going to make an announcement. Um, if there are... Welcome, everybody. I love seeing everybody. Um, so if there are trolls in here, I will do my best to take care of those trolls. Somebody tries to message you, uh, say inbox them. They have a message for you. Ignore them. I also want to say that they're getting a little more clever and they're waiting until after the live is over and then they go and send you guys messages. I had a couple of emails saying, um, I don't appreciate this and I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm doing the best I can, but they are hitting all of the spiritual community. So I apologize for that. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, so some of you have come over from Matthew. I adore Matthew. I adore Windwalker. I adore Deanna Miner. So if you guys can share this out, uh, please do so. Um, if you haven't hit the notif be notified button for when I go live, hit the notify button. Um, well, yeah, I know. Oh my God, the curse people. Oh, please. You know, guys, I and I want you guys to know I will never, ever approach you asking for money i will never ever approach you doing that you'll never see me send you a message and if you get a friend request from my business page on facebook you can't do that that's not allowed so that's somebody who's also trying to be a fake person you guys let me know if that happens so i will never ever approach anyone so we're just going to say it right now Creator of all that is, we ask that the chat be surrounded and protected by the white light. Uh, all of our guides and angels come and be with us. For those who need the messages, they will receive them. I ask Archangel Michael for extra, extra protection of his blue energy, keeping the room safe and protected, and so it is. Um, okay, guys, um, it's been an interesting few days a very interesting few days uh that's right i never ever ask people for money if that was the case woo, i'd probably be a wealthy woman <laughs> so guys um i did have somebody show up when i was trying to have a little bit of um uh, quiet time but in the but before that um Hang on, just doing something else. I didn't mean to pause uh, this. So I pulled, as I always do for Monday Musings, I have pulled a group set of cards. I pulled three this time. Um, so this is, this is messages that belong to all of us, okay? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So the first card that I pulled for all of us is the Winter's End. The Winter's 
end and we really are going to have an end to winter and for all of you new people welcome welcome there should be a button here that you guys can click to be notified whenever i go live i do this every monday evening at 6 30 mountain standard time and then i also have been going on instagram you guys can follow me there as well uh pam sears underscore psychic medium but right now there's a fake profile um so i'll get that figured out it happened right before i came on live golly gee all right so winter's end people this is our group message regeneration rebirth and a positive outcome there's wind walker coming in to say hello wind walker is one of my helper slash moderators as well as my friend nina i don't know if she's popped in yet or not um they kind of help in case y'all get out of hand which we don't want um you know hang on just a minute janice um i um want you to go deep within yourself and this is the one thing i'm going to say to you janice i had cancer and when people ask me what should i do this is my answer never ever make a decision based on fear never ever make a decision based on fear whatever you decide to do just make sure you've taken fear out of the equation that's how i'm going to answer you um oh good wind walker also awesome so yeah you guys would you please uh wind walker please put your link here um so that you can follow wind walker if you're not already wind walker and and matthew and myself we're all on tiktok so it's kind of cool if you guys want to follow on tiktok as well all right so this winter's end says regeneration rebirth positive outcome so winter does end we are going to be ending that winter which is not just physical but emotional spiritual there's going to be some regeneration just like that happens when we come out of uh, hibernation and a positive outcome so there's the first card the second card talks about centering during this time while we're waiting for winter to get out of our way um, we are to focus on centering and balancing ourselves for those of you who can go outside um, and please get yourself centered and balanced I know there are people that say, excuse me, the ground is frozen with snow. I say, then just put your feet, uh, you know, on the ground where you're at and envision that you are centering and grounding into the earth. Um, and then I decided to pull uh, from my heart rock deck. Most of you all know I have my own oracle cards made out of heart rocks that I have found in nature that I have gotten messages. This is our third one which kind of matches this first one about positive outcome it says celebrate this heart told me the word celebrate take joy in your accomplishments there you go people Ooh, one 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 i just saw that 111 people popped in Ooh, that was good positive vibes thank you universe yeah i'm a little wired today just because i've been really busy doing readings all day so i'm still in that mode um so let me also for those of you i know i have several repeat people and i have some new people i just got this deck in the mail check it out check it out um the cards are beautiful let me see if i can find that look at that and it's all trees this is the ones i'm going to use tonight for those that i'm going to be giving uh readings to depending on who i connect with it's from etsy it's an etsy store actually it's called soul trees oracle cards uh her name is allison williams yee 
Isn't that beautiful? These are the cards I'm going to use tonight. I just got them in the mail on Friday. Um, so yeah, okay, everybody. So welcome, welcome. Um, I have a spirit and I want to see who it may uh, go with, all right? Um, I got, and I, I'm not sure, I don't do really well with names. Um, when I give a connection, you, oh, Sears, Misty Sears, she's got the same last name as me. You have to take everything that I give. It is not, there you go, guys. There's Wind Walker. Make sure if you're new and you haven't been following her. And follow me, too. That's okay. That works. Um, so I got the name Bobby or Robbie. Bobby or Robbie. I saw a truck. I saw a bridge. I am being shown two boys. I am being shown the month of September, and for some reason, I it looked like Nebraska, I, and it, it sounded like Nebraska. So, Bobby, Robbie, a truck, a bridge. I, I There might have been an accident on the bridge. I am not really, really sure, but I'm being shown a truck. Oh, even my dog is wired tonight. A truck, a bridge, uh, two boys. So, if anyone can take that... Um, let me see. Um, it's I definitely have a male figure here, and um, it's interesting. Okay, because he's saying he did go quick. If somebody thought that he was suffering, he said he went quick. He did go quick. Um, and so this, if no one can take this spirit right now while we're. Uh, well, if you, you know, Andrea, can you take a truck? Can you take a bridge? Can you take two boys? Can you take the month of September and Nebraska? There are also, there are also, I'm being shown three, I'm being shown three girls, three girls. Three girls, three girls. Um, so these names could be somebody that is still living or it could be crossed over. Um, and it could be somebody who's, I'm trying to think of, um, hang on, hang on. This person seems to be uh, fairly, I don't know. It's, it's hard to do age too. Um, welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. So... He seems to be in his 40s. Uh, you have three girls. Um, okay, but uh, let me see if I can get anything else. You've got to take all of it. Something about a truck, something about a bridge, two boys, uh, somehow related to whoever this person is with the truck, September, Nebraska, and three girls. Um so, yeah, you got to take it all, guys. You can't just take some of it. Uh, when I do my Facebook Lives and my Instagram and TikTok Lives, yes, um, they are free here. All of my live readings are free. Mariah, Bobby is picking his truck up this weekend. Is there anything about a bridge? Anything about a bridge? And I don't know why I'm seeing Nebraska... I live right in front of a bridge. My husband has a truck. Uh, okay, Victoria. Um, does the name Bobby or Robbie go with you? And is there anything about two boys or three girls? And if you... What? And welcome, everybody from all over. Welcome, welcome. So, um, okay, thank you. It, it's scrolling very fast. Victoria, would you please talk to me in all caps? Um, I don't want anyone else to talk to me in all caps except for Victoria. Um, okay. And um, Windwalker, and if Nine is here, they are my moderators, and they will... Oh, okay. You have three girls. Your ex-father-in-law was Robert. Okay. Uh, all right, Victoria. So it has this Robert passed to the other side, Victoria. It looks like it's probably for you. 
and your son, son died in September. Okay, Victoria, I'm with you, sweetie. I am with you. Thank you for that validation. So, um, Windwalker is my moderator. Nine is my moderator. They will try to keep things flowing here. Um, awesome, awesome. So, I believe that is who is here, okay? Um, it It's like, okay, somebody was wondering if he passed... And he was suffering. Like, you know, somebody gets worried about, oh my God, they just suffered and suffered. And he's saying, no, no, I went, I went, uh, I went fast. I, did he, is there anything around the midriff area, around the abdominal area, anything? Um, okay, I, I'm getting something in that area. And, you know, sometimes people uh, worry. Thank you, Windwalker, for being my moderator. Um, something about, yeah, something about that area. I don't know exactly what, um, if there might've been something in the stomach or, uh, possibly even the esophagus, 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 I can't even say it right. Um, somebody, somebody seemed to have been worried. Uh, he was on life support and we were told if he woke up, he would need a feeding tube. Oh, that makes a whole lot of sense, Victoria. What happens is he kept saying, but I was gone. I was gone. I wasn't there. I was gone. So a lot of times when people are on life support, many, many times they're like straddling both worlds, if that makes sense. And he wants everyone to know he was gone. He was gone. And so if somebody had an issue and were worried about him or however worried about taking him off life support, let it go. He was already there. He said, I was already there. So that's kind of a cool message. I think he needed to come through. Um, I was pregnant for my son who has also passed at the time of his passing. I was pregnant for my son who has also passed at the time of his passing. I'm that's confusing a little bit, but you were pregnant at the time that this father-in-law passed? Is that what you're saying to me, Victoria? Okay. Oh, and sweetie, um He's saying that, I don't know who lost a dog. Okay, okay, thank you for that. Um, who lost the dog? Because he's got a dog. He's got a dog with him. Ooh, wait. I think somebody was a big dog lover because I see three with him. Um, I don't know if people have lost some dogs through the years or somebody might have recently. Um, he's got, he, first he was saying the dog and then all of a sudden I saw three around him. But I think there's a recent dog that might have passed and he's saying he has the dog. Uh, who was the dog lover? Was it him? Always nice to meet another Pam. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm just kind of giving this little, not sure. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so somebody doesn't need to worry about their dog. He's got the dog. Um, and two others. So there might have been some dogs from, from the family uh, that people might say, where did our dogs go? He's got them. I see three around him. Um, he's also showing me a hat. Um, it's like... I don't know, it's kind of like, like a different kind of hat. Did he wear some different looking hats? Um, oh, and did somebody, and does somebody have his watch? He's showing, he's doing this. He's doing this, and I want to see what that means. Sometimes that means somebody has his watch. Um... Um, just waiting to kind of see your ex. Okay, okay. Um, gosh. And he's also showing me, uh, his son has it. Thank you. Thank you for that validation. He's talking about the watch. Um, 
Was there someone that used to go fishing with this Robert? Was there something? He's showing me a fishing pole. So I don't, you know, that usually means they were big on fishing. So, um, I'm not picking up anything about whether the father's going to be there yet. They haven't given me that information. Um, if I hear something more, Sam, I will certainly let you know. Um, no, it's for her. It's for Victoria. He loved fishing. Okay. And your ex kept his fishing stuff. Thank you for that validation. Thank you so much. But really, he just popped in so that you guys, would you please let whoever needs to know that he is, uh, he, he left. He was already gone. He wasn't there. So that should bring people some comfort about, you know, I don't know if they were, you know, they were worried about him and um now i understand he was on life support so anyway sweetie uh is your son with him uh let me see if i have a son with him victoria really quick um um let me see was your son very very young because there's a female figure on the other side who is older and she is holding an infant she is holding an well, it looks to be an infant. Um, there's an older female holding an infant. Two months. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't know who the older female is. If you have someone on the other side that would be an older female, there's an older female who was holding an infant. Um, she seems, I don't know, she seems to be like a grandma feel. I, I don't know. Um, a grandma feel or a great aunt is what I'm picking up. Um, his wife may be with him. Okay. Okay. There, there is a, an elderly woman that does have the child. So, yes, the baby is very well in safekeeping. So, you know that. All right, sweetie? Let me see if there's anything else. Okay. And, and is there anything about... Is there anything about March or October? March or October. Just kind of a quickly, they're, they're fading out for you, Victoria, but uh, something about, uh, let's see. You know, Krista, I'm, I'm waiting. Krista, I don't know. There's, I'm, I'm seeing this. I don't know about, I don't know about the concert. If it is, it's going to be a very small, small, um, okay, that's all right. That's okay. That's all right, sweetie. Might belong to somebody else. Um, so anyway, concerts, there's still, still some things in the works about this vaccine thing. And I don't know exactly what that is, but, um, if it is, it's going to be a smaller group. So anyway, Victoria, thank you for coming in, um, and allowing me to bring a loved one through. Um, what I'm going to do at this point, I am going to scroll through and I am going to pull a card. This is my brand new dick. Dick. <laughs> Guys, I did not just say <laughs> This is my brand new deck of cards. Oh my God. Don't you guys just, oh, go ahead and laugh all you want. That's as funny as could be. Very nice for, for Victoria. Very, very nice. All right. So this is my new deck that came. And um, there's one word on these cards. So let's see what we can do. Let me, I'm just going to kind of, <laughs> I know that was so funny. Freudian slip? I don't know. Um, you know, Tanya, I'm kind of getting sometime maybe March. Maybe you'll get called back to work. Uh, I don't know, something about March. Um, that could change. Um, you know what, Mary, you did not get there late. You got there when you were supposed to gotten there, Mary. When people say, I'm sorry I got there late, things happened the way they were supposed to have happened, Mary. You got there when you were supposed to. So please let that go. Please let that go. All right, let's see. Um, all right, uh, Shannon McDowell, are you, Shannon McDowell, do you, are you in here? I got a card for you. 
Shannon McDowell. It's kind of moving pretty fast in here, guys. I have more people than usually. Uh, Shannon McDowell, come on down. I have a card for you. And you guys, um, also, I want you to follow Wind Walker. She's putting my links in for me, and I so appreciate it. And Wind Walker is going to be putting her uh, links in here as well. Okay, so Shannon, woo, look at this card. Abundance, 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 abundance. Get ready. Abundance doesn't always mean financial gain. Abundance means also new things in our life, new relationships, new things coming to us, new jobs, new whatever. Abundance, that is your card. Um, Jody Heatherly, I just kind of want to, you know what, I think you'll be okay in February. Um, if you take the extra precautions, they're going to start easing things up for travel. I think you'll be okay. Just be extra, extra careful that's all I'm gonna say um, let's see mm. oh hang on a minute Jamie you had a dream of your husband but it felt so real that he was there he was there that is when you feel so strongly that somebody's been there that's a visitation they were there you probably woke up thinking oh my god he was there, sweetie. He was there. So thank you guys for coming from Matthew. We all try to support each other. Matthew and Wind Walker and myself and Crystal Queer. Uh, if you're not following him, he's another fabulous reader. Uh, so you dreamed of your mom. Are your parents with you? They pop in and they pop out. That's just the way it is. But yes, very much strongly with you. And you know when they're around you, okay? Um, okay, all these people trying to send me messages. You have a fake account. I know that. Um, so Deborah Long, your name just sounds so, um, I think I went to school with a Deborah Long. I know that it's not you or you would know who I am. Went to high school with a Deborah Long. Deborah, let's put a card for you. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Ooh, Deborah Long, birth birth you are getting ready to give birth to something now if you're not pregnant and having children it means you're going to be birthing a new idea birthing a new project um, something possibly using your creative uh, arts and crafts kind of thing okay that's a beautiful card get ready Deborah um, let's see Brooke, Brooke Bartles, I like that name. Brooke Bartles, let's see what we got. I thought it would be a good night to share my new cards. Brooke Bartles, flourish. Brooke Bartles, this is a time for you to flourish. Look at how beautiful these cards are. Open, okay, they're telling me, open up your heart and please allow the flourish to happen, okay? You are deserving and it is time. That's what they're telling you. All right, um, let's see. I saw Annette King. I saw, uh, thank you guys. Thank you, Jeff. I love what I do and I love um, giving back, you know, for service. I know, who did I just say? You know, I said your name. I said your name. And here's your card. The sixth chakra, the third eye. Looks like it might be time for you to be opening up that third eye. Um, kind of going forward and growing in your spiritual faith and practice. Um, you know, sometimes you'll feel some tingling going on around here, a little bit of energy. That's our third eye. That helps us. Um, I would recommend at this point in time that you focus, meditate, and allow some uh, channeled messages to come to you from your people. That's what I'm hearing for you. 
Um, I believe that was for Brooke. Uh, let's see, guys. I'm just going to keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, Tori. Tori Daniel. Tori Daniel. Tori Lovebug. Tori Lovebug. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Action. Action. Tori Lovebug Daniel. This is no time to sit still. This is no time to sit still. Take action and go accordingly. Take action. Don't sit back. Like sometimes I'll wait and say, well, I'm going to wait for things to come to me. No, no, no. Time for you to get up and do it. Just do it. I, hey, you know, it's, just, it's not just me and the cards. Your peeps are talking here. Uh, let's see. And thank you guys. You're welcome. I don't know what I answered, but you know, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, let me see. I'm just kind of scrolling through. Amber. <clears throat> Amber Zeiss. Amber Zeiss. Yeah, you guys, on TikTok, I've been on there since Thanksgiving. And so I'm known as Psychic Medium Pam Sears on TikTok. Psychic Medium, I mean Pam Sears underscored Psychic Medium on Instagram. I think Windwalker is trying to do all of our links here. So uh, please follow Amber. Please follow Windwalker, all of you, please. L emerging. Ooh, what a beautiful card. This Amber, you are emerging. There is a new you that has been hiding in there for a while and you are emerging it's like ah oh, thank you very much spirit it's like being in a cocoon um and you're coming out as a butterfly you are emerging look at that isn't that pretty um you know i said that before sam i i i don't know there's some iffy things going on like i am not I, I'm, I'm still hearing this. Still hearing this. Um, let's see. It is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, let's see. Amanda. Hang on a minute. Amanda. There might be two Amandas in here. And if it is, that means you're both supposed to get the card. That's how it works. Amanda, here is your card. You also got the sixth chakra, the third eye. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? The artwork on here is phenomenal. And I got a handwritten note from the, uh, the artist who did these cards when she mailed them to me. Third eye, your third eye is working on, and that's where we have our psychic ability that we can hone into. So please be sure, sit quietly. You might even feel that little bit of energy. Um, I also wanna pull a card for Rena, R-E-N-A. I saw that name and I, I had to write her name down so that I wouldn't forget. So Rena. Oh, and I just saw my friend Daniel John Medium is now live on his page. He's also a fabulous reader. Seems like we all seem to do things on Mondays, although Wynne Walker does hers on Tuesdays. I'm going to try to be with her. Uh, all right, Rena, transformation. There's a lot of growth going on for my people tonight. Transformation. Look at that beautiful card. Wow. It's like you're intertwining and the aspects of you are coming together and you are transforming into actually not a better you, I mean, excuse me, not a new you, a new and improved you. Check that out. Woo. All right. So that is for you. Um, okay. 
Um, let me take a look here and see what we got. Um, Kaylee Jackson. Um, you know, I try to do as many cards as I can, and, and oop, that flew right on out in case Spirit uh, shows up with another message. I feel something going on over there. Wow, same card. Transformation. Transformation. You are also becoming new and improved. Check that out. Isn't that a beautiful card? Guys, this deck, I am so in love with this deck. This deck has 80 cards in it. Um, so, um, okay, just a moment, guys. I have to write this down. Um, I've got to get another piece of paper. I'm either getting a Joey or jo jo J -O, like a Joanne. Um, I'm getting someone who worked with hair, hairdresser. Um, I'm getting the month of, woo, getting the month of January. Thank you. Um, there is something about a car. Something that happened sudden. Um, now this Joanne and hairdresser could be alive. Okay, I'm just saying this is what I'm getting. I'm also getting two boys and one girl. Two boys and one girl. Uh, there is a sensation of boom right into the chest. Um, fast, boom right into the chest. Let me see if there's anything else. 22, I'm also getting the number 22. You have to take it all, guys. You have to take it all. Joey, jo Joanne, um, Joni, hairdresser, the month of January. There's a car involved here. Uh, there was a sudden, uh, someone sudden passed. Uh, two boys and one girl, and then I'm getting the number 22. Um, okay. This female, just a moment, it's a female here. She appears to maybe be, um, you have to take everything else. There could be John. I mean, I think I'm hearing Joanne. Sometimes it goes into uh, another name, but you have to take the rest of that. There's a female that appears to be like an ant figure. Uh, Okay, I was a hairdresser, mom is Joanne, I have two boys. Is there also a little girl somewhere? One girl, Jennifer, I think I'm with you. Um, is there anything about, um, is there any, and this, there's a, seems to be a female on the, um, and, and guys, I want to say this right now, we could have a piggyback situation going on. There could be similar information going on for more than one person, okay? So I gotta give this because the spirit's talking to me. With along with this, there is a female figure that either looks to be an ant or possibly it's a mother figure. I kind of got more ant who has an infant, who has a baby that they're holding on to. Someone either lost a baby or um, someone had a miscarriage. Uh, your daughter is 22. Jennifer, for sure, this is for you. Definitely. Okay. You took all of that, thank you. Now, except, you know, I don't know what the January is. Let me, and her birthday is January. Thank you for that, Jennifer. We have a, we have a validation. So I'm sorry, guys, I had to stop with the cards. The spirit comes in and I, I just, uh, okay. So who's, who is this female figure that's on the other side, Joanne? Is this your mother? I kind of got either an aunt figure or a mother figure. Um, she kind of knows. She kind of feels aunt. Uh, let's see. And and I don't know. What's the car? Um, is there something about a car? I don't know. Did she have a car accident? Is that how she crossed? Um, and the only one that I want to give me all caps is the one that I'm connecting with right now, okay? Um, so that's Jennifer. Um, Mom is still alive. Okay, who's the female figure on the other side? There is a female figure on the other side. And, and it seems like either she went sudden or there's someone else on the other side that went sudden. 
Somebody went very fast, very sudden, and she's talking about a car. Don't know if it's a car accident or somebody has connections to cars. This is what I'm giving. But there's definitely a female figure. Could even be a great out. No car sounds familiar. That's okay. That's okay. Um, she is showing me. There, mo there may be someone who ha bought a new car or has, a, has her old car. Um, your cousin went sudden. Okay. Um, Jennifer, is this cousin a female? Can you let me know if this cousin is a female? Uh, just let me check. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I don't, I don't do really good with, uh, is there any connection to, um, C-H, C-H, that could be someone's initials or that could be someone's name, C-H. Uh, okay, I'm just, okay. And I'm not good with names, guys. I'm, I think I'm getting C-H now, I, I, I don't know. Could be some, just the beginning of somebody's names, could be somebody's initials. Um, Chris is your brother. Okay, somebody's trying to give validation to you. Um, okay, let me check to see what else. Um, okay, this sudden, this sudden, was it something, I don't know, it's just like here and gone, here and gone is what I feel for this cousin, here and gone. Oh, uh, Okay, Angel, we have a, uh, he just bought a new car. Thank you for that validation. Angel, we have a piggyback situation going, okay? Angel, we have a piggyback situation going. So we have two spirits that are similar, okay? And they're trying to come through and bring two messages at the same time. So Angel and Jennifer are the only two, and you have the 22, Guys, I have to share something. Those of you that have been in my lives lately know that I have lately done a ton of piggybacking. Um, and so we have two people again. I, I'm sorry about having to stop with the cards, but these spirits are coming through. So Angel, you may speak in all caps, and Jennifer. So he just bought a new car. Thank you for that. Angel, you have taken everything else. That works. So you have... Uh, oh boy, another one is right. Oh, lordy, people, lordy. Give me strength. Um, I think it's because I, I, I did readings all day. That eh, doesn't matter. They're, they're going to do what they want to do. Um, could this be a prediction? No. No, this is people that are coming to say hello. I don't do predictions. Um, is there anyone with her? Um, you know, as I said, this, this person has an infant. This person does have an infant. So, um, will you let me know, Jennifer? Uh, this could be somebody who had a miscarriage before. Um, don't, no need to be sorry. There's two of you here that are receiving information and messages. Uh, God help me. Um, so anyway, this this female is holding on to the infant, okay? And so uh, somebody either lost an infant, someone had a miscarriage. The other thing that it could also be, that is true, and hi, welcome guys. Sometimes it's also for somebody who's going to be having a baby. They're keeping uh, watch over the baby until the baby's born, okay? Um, you had a cousin at three months died. Thank you for that validation, Jennifer, okay. We have that confirmation. Okay, all right. Um, I don't know why I kept thinking it was Aunt, but anyway, okay, so there's the baby there. Um, and I believe Angel said there was also an infant in hers. So these people are just showing up to let both of you know that everyone is safe that's over there. Everyone is safe. Um, 
We, nothing is ever lost. No babies are lost. No animals are lost. Um, everyone is being cared for over there. Um, and even before a baby is born, they're watching out uh, for them. And so these two different spirits are very, very similar. Uh, she's, she's older, more of an aunt. Okay, well, that's what I picked up that aunt type energy. And so Angel and Jennifer, um, if, if people are worried um, that somebody's lost or like, you know, the baby or, you know, the dog or, or is that person lost, they're not lost. Everyone is being kept safe on the other side. That's the message for both of you. Um, I will see if there's anything else. Uh, you know, they're getting more clever, the, the, clever, these spirits. They want to come in because they know I only have a certain amount of time. So I think they're, I, I don't want to use the word ganging up on me, but they're kind of ganging up on me. Um, so the two of you, um, let me see if there's anything more that they want to say. Um, February and the number two. February and the number two. Now, I don't know it's February 2nd. Does she have a message for her sisters? Um, the one thing she, um, the only thing she's got, there's something about the service, Jennifer. Something about the service. These sisters did something really, really special for her at the service. And I'm seeing, I don't, it's like, it's like the sisters might have done their own arrangement of flowers. She's showing me a special, special arrangement. Um, and I'm getting the feeling, Jennifer, that maybe the sisters made it or planned it or whatever. She's showing me that for the sisters. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, and she was very, very pleased with how things um, were done for her. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, She's just so grateful. She's just tickled. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if you can confirm or deny or whatever, but that's the message that she has for the sisters. Whatever special thing they did for her at the service. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Um, oh, because they don't. A very special, unique service. Suzanne. I've asked for years, you can ask any psychic medium. They come through and give us difficult things. It's just the way it is. Um, I don't hear really good with names, but sometimes I do. And, you know, sometimes they'll give me a number two. Nobody connects to the number two, but it means February. So anyway, but I did just hear for Angel and uh, um, Jennifer, I saw February and the number two. Now, I don't know if that means February 2nd. Uh, okay, and I don't know which one, uh, which one this is for, uh, of you two women, um, Jennifer or Angel. The balloons. Somebody's saying thank you for the balloons, and I don't know who that's for, okay? of you two ladies because they're getting ready to say goodbye um, or if, if if they haven't released balloons there's something coming up that's balloons um, thank you Nina that's my older that's my other moderator Nina her and Windwalker are my moderators that help um, yeah, the February and the two was connected to Angel and to Jennifer. I'm doing a piggyback reading. Um, either somebody's birthday, maybe the balloons are a celebration. Maybe somebody's having a birthday. I don't know. But they're just saying things for the balloons like they really, really love that. So anyway, ladies, um, thank you for coming in and trusting. Um, and many many times guys if there's something that you feel that you connect with that can happen a lot too okay readings don't always um you know there's two people here but probably um if you know things do connect for other people okay all right so thank you thank you now let's see i'm going to go back to the chat 
we'll go back to trying to pull some cards for people. Um, and you know, guys, I'm going to say people want to hear from their loved ones, but I have no control over who decides to show up or who doesn't. That's just how we psychic mediums roll. We just don't know. Um, but, you know, I, you can certainly connect with me uh, on a private one-on-one -on -one reading, even on the one-on-one -on -one private readings. I don't guarantee who's going to show up, okay? Um, Kathy Nash, your name popped out to me. Let's see. Kathy Nash. Now, I'm going to go live on TikTok more. I'm going to go live on Instagram more. And um, Nina, um, there's also, my daughter-in-law just texted me, there's another new fake one for me that just popped up on Instagram. So hopefully they've all, she's reported it. We'll see what happens. All right, Kathy Nash, I'm going to pull you a card. Flourish. Kathy Nash, it's time for you to flourish. Look at that. Right. Like, look at the roots going down into the earth, okay? Um, the seeds were planted. Um, it's time to pop up and allow things to flow. Open up your heart and let it happen, okay? All right, so that is your card, Kathy Nash. Um, let me scroll through. Um, Christine Diotti. Christine Diotti, your name got illuminated to me. Transformation, Christine Diotti, transformation. See how these colors are intertwining with each other? You are going to be getting out of your cocoon and become a butterfly. I don't see a butterfly in here, but I sense it. So that's why I said butterfly. You are in the midst of transformation. Um, all right, let's see. Um, let's see. Thank you guys. I just, you guys, I want to say how much I deeply love and appreciate all of you people. Um, you know, all of us that do this, you know, for, you know, giving back and service and things, we love each and every one of you. We so appreciate how much you share your love with us and your trust with us. I just want to say, you guys have no idea how you touch my heart. So thank you for always coming in and trusting in that, even if you don't always get a reading. The ones that were supposed to get a reading, get a reading. Um, all right, let me see. Um, thank you, Kim Helberg. You're Kim Hefflinger. Um, let's see what card we have for you. I'm going to try to see if I can go a little bit longer, guys. Um, you know, we'll see. I usually stop at an hour, but that's okay. Kim Helberg. Kim Helberg. Ooh. Passion. Look at that. That almost looks like the picture I took tonight of the Phoenix bird. If you guys, it's on my personal page. Maybe I should put it on my business page too. Passion. So the, what the message with this is, it is time for you to find that passion within whatever it is. If there's something you've been wanting to create, Something that you wanted to try to do new. Step out of your comfort zone, they're telling me. It is time for your passion to explode. They are like showing me fireworks for you, Kim. Okay? Pretty cool beans. Pretty cool beans. Um, let me see. Um, da -da -da -da. Just kind of... Oh, let's go, let's go. Um, Sheila Burke. Let's see, let's pull a card for you. Sheila Burke. I've had spirits show up all day long. You guys have no idea. So, Sheila Burke, 
wisdom. Wisdom. You know, it's like sometimes we do our research and we work hard and we plan and we prepare and we read and we get that knowledge. You've earned the right to say, I have the wisdom. They're reminding you, you've worked, work, I, you've worked very, very hard right now in your life and you've earned the right for that wisdom. And I don't know how old you are. <laughs> Please don't, you know, they're showing me a very ancient crone woman. Um, and she has a lot of wisdom. And so this is kind of like, an, don't, don't quote me if you're young. This means you're maybe an old soul. You've earned that wisdom. Oh, and they said, and remember to share it. That's really important, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um... Jimmy, Jimmy McKim, Jimmy McKim, let me pull you a card. Let's see what's going on with you, sir. Jimmy McKim, you got the exact same card. Check it out. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. The same thing. You have earned that wisdom. And I do feel that there is inside of you a very old soul, okay? It's like, I think there's a part of you that feels you don't belong on this earth, okay? Um, but you are, oh yes, a very wise one. They're saying, now don't, they're laughing saying, now don't let it go to your head. Do not let it go to your head. But you are a very wise one, okay? Um, now, also, Jeff, I don't know. Jeff, are you still here? I, I felt that I wanted to pull you a card. Let's see, Jeff. Let's see. You know, at one point, I don't know, I just saw 111 people in here. That's a good number. Um, you're welcome. Jeff, are you still here, Mr. Jeff? I'm going to pull you a card. I know I saw you in here earlier. I hope that you're still here. Ah, Jeff. Jeff, you... They are asking you to listen to your inner voice. Listen to your inner voice. You're asking questions and they're saying... You already have the answer right there. You have the answer inside, Jeff. You do not need to ask anyone else. Sit within the quiet. Isn't this a beautiful, beautiful card? Sit within the quiet, Jeff. I hope you're still here because this I pulled a card for you. I hope you're still in here. Um... All right, let's see. Thank you, Victoria. I love, I love this. I just love, love, love this. Uh, and, you know, most of my friends that see me, you know, we hang out. They know how passionate I am about this and how I get excited like a little kid. Um, it is a great card. So um, I'm going to write that down in case he had to leave. If you guys see Jeff, he got the inner voice card. I think he's in here somewhere, hopefully. Um, okay, so, ah, oh, Brittany, welcome. Brittany, I love the way your name is spelled. Brittany, I want to pull a card for you because your name popped up very, very strongly. Um, sacral. Second chakra sacral, Brittany. Second chakra. That, here's another orange, just like that sky picture I took. Sacral. That's that sexual energy. That's, um, you know, you've got the root chakra, and then it comes up so it's that, that joy and that sexual energy. Um, Find, look, look within and find that joy. So there could be a little bit of blockages going on in that sacral energy. Um, 
So if there's somebody that you can go to that possibly uh, could do a little bit of chakra work on you, it just looks like it needs a little bit of help. But that's the joy center. That is the joy center. Um, let's see. Maybe that's the message. Find that inner joy. Okay. All right. Beautiful card. I love that color too. So guys, I'm going to go a little bit longer. I try to stop at an hour. Um, okay. Mallory White. Mallory White. I want to thank Nina and I want to thank Wynn Walker. You guys take such good care of me. Um, I so appreciate the both of you and what you do. And so, guys, if you're not following Wynn Walker, you should be. And we're going to get Nina to start doing more feng shui stuff. Oh, yes. Mallory, let's pull a card for you. Wisdom. This is the third time it's come up tonight. Mallory, you're also an old soul. Look at that. Yeah, I love you too, Nina, very much. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom. You are an old soul. Although, Brittany, you feel to me to be a younger person. I don't know. I just feel like you're very, very young at heart. Um, but you have also some wisdom within you that they're asking you to spend some quiet time and meditate and allow the wisdom to show itself. I think that you've been here many, many times. I feel you're an old soul. Ah, okay. Time to wake up a little bit and remember is what they're saying. Time to wake up and remember. That's for you, Brittany. I mean, yeah, did I say Brittany? Okay. Oh, you're following Mallory. That's cool. Okay. That other card was, this was for Brittany. And, uh, let's see. Um, you're 31. Yep. You're young. You're a young one. Well, it's time for you to let some of that chili out here, guys. I don't know if it's going to start raining in Phoenix. Let me know, Nina, because it's getting really cloudy here in Prescott Valley. And I kind of got chilly willy so my birthday is sunday i don't know guys i just i don't know i might surprise everybody and do some readings on my birthday i don't know possible snow here on my birthday in prescott valley let's put that out there i would love just please bring snow on my birthday because that would be something special i think um i'm not getting anything andrea i am not picking up anything um except that well hang on andrea just a second um there's an older man he appears to be a grandfather type and he's saying i have the baby i have the baby older gentleman um i don't know yeah there's a little bit of it, it, kind of salt and pepper but more of the salt on the side so it looks to be a, like a grandfather figure, and he's saying, I have the baby. So there you go, Miss Andrea. I don't know who he is. Um, okay, let me... Pop, people pop in, and then they pop out. Uh, phew, yours is Saturday. Well, happy birthday to you. Oh, it, it was a grandpa figure, Andrea. You know, guys, you need to remember, nobody's alone. Babies... Uh, when people have a miscarriage, even if they have an abortion or they lose an infant or an animal, none of them are alone. None of our family members are alone. They are all being cared for. All right, so I'm going to do this for a little bit longer. This is almost like the longest I've gone, guys. On Instagram, they only let me go an hour. Um, so thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, no... No, Andrea, no. He's like, no, 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 no. You did the right thing, so please don't, no. No, no, no. And he keeps doing that. No, 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 no. You're fine. Um, all right, Destiny King. Let's see what I have for you. I do, your name popped up. Destiny King. Action, Destiny. 
time for you to take action. This is not a time for you to sit still eating bonbons. They told me, oh, ooh. your people said, not a time to eat bonbons. Get up and do it. Take action. Go forward. All right. <sighs> All right. Let's see, guys. I'm going to go back to the chat. Um, thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, let me see. I am not picking anything up, Jonathan. Uh, you live on burial grounds. That can bring some real interesting um, energies uh, around if you're on a sacred burial ground. Um, I'm not picking up that anything wants to hurt you. Um, I don't know if it's something that you're renting or you have property there. I mean, I can't imagine buying, you know, you can't buy property on a burial ground. Um, I'm not getting that anything is trying to hurt you. Um, but it could very well be that you're going to be picking up some energies that are there. Um, just, you know, I would suggest that you sage your house, smudge, sage as, as often as you can, okay? That's my recommendation to you. Um, let's see. Uh, let me just go through. Guys, I'm only going to be on for a little couple of minutes here. Um, Dolores, Dolores Puccio, Puccio, Puccio. Dolores, uh, if I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong. Uh, Dolores, let me get this for you. We'll do a card for you, Dolores. Uh, play, Dolores. Looks like you have been spending too much time either worrying about something, too much time working, worry. They keep telling me, worry, worry, worry. They want you to find some time to go play. I don't know if you like the casino. They're showing me cha-ching, cha-ching. That would be a fun place to go play. I don't know if you if you like the casinos, Dolores. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But they want you to go out and play some, okay? That is really, really important. Um, so I'm going to go another mm, couple of minutes. Let's see. You just retired. Well, then it's time to go play. That's a perfect card for you. That is a perfect, perfect card for you. Um, Catlin Smith. You know what, guys? I scroll and then names pop up. So that's kind of how I go with my readings. Catlin, Catlin. It says stuck. It says you might be stuck at the moment. Um, now, I want to tell you this. Even if you feel like you might be stuck at the moment, sometimes that is a protection for you. Um, Catelyn, it might mean you just need your stuck and the, the, what's coming isn't quite ready for you, okay? Sometimes they make us stuck and we're there for a reason. So... Um, just meditate and pray and ask for guidance of when you're supposed to start making a move, okay? I was stuck somewhere and I found out that it was for my protection because I was trying to do something and they they made me stick still to where I was at. Um, all right, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, yeah. So let's see, I am going to go to, uh, this is the last card of the evening, guys. Um, Heaven Jarvis. Heaven Jarvis. I am going to pull a card for you. Guys, make sure you click notify so that you get notified when I go live. I'm here every Monday, 6.30, uh, Mountain Standard Time, Instagram. Um, follow Windwalker. She will be live tomorrow. Uh, Windwalker, uh, heaven. Uh, Windwalker, um, what time do you usually do your lives? I'm thinking, if I remember correctly, around four or five mountain time, but she's on the East Coast. So can you let us know what time, Windwalker, you're going to usually try to do your lives? Um, you definitely want to follow her. Ooh! 
You also got play. Check that out. Look at that. Look at that. Go out and play. We have to balance work with play. Uh, thank you for that, N Nina. There's a lot more people that are making contact after the live. I did not see any trolls in here. They've been waiting until after the fact. So please ignore anyone that tries to send you a message, okay? It, it will not be me. I promise you. So anyway, yes, heavenly, heavenly, look at that, play. And you know what? That's kind of a, a cool ending for tonight because this card is for heaven. Guess what they get to do when they go to the other side? Play. They go to the other side and they play. So they want you, heaven, to go out and play and do Something really, really fun. Okay, guys, um, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, heaven, you're a single mom. That's where they want you to go out and play. Um, and so that's a perfect ending to tonight. They play in heaven. They want us to play on earth. Um, thank you so, so much. I, uh, when Walker comes on 7 to 7.15 Eastern Standard Time. Okay, go on her page follow her. Uh, I send you all much love, much healing. Um, you can't even begin to know how much love I feel for all of you. So blessings to each and every one of you. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.